Defense Central attended this year's edition of Europe's largest arms fair, opening its doors on September 12 in London. DSEI, held at the Excel Center in London's Docklands, featured over 1,600 defense and security suppliers, including major industry players. If you haven't already, check out our previous videos where we explored various platforms showcased at DSEI 2023, including BAE Systems Next Generation 155mm ammunition, the British Army's upcoming jet-propelled drone, Northrop Grumman's Battle One concept, Rheinmetall's Next Generation Multipurpose Unmanned Aerial System, and more. In today's video, we'll explore the latest defense technology and security developments announced by various Scandinavian companies, such as Saab, Kongsberg, Patria, and Milram Robotics. Make sure to watch until the end to discover more about OneWeb and how they're using their constellation of 648 low-Earth orbit satellites to enhance global connectivity for defense and security forces. Saab, the renowned Swedish aerospace and defense company, unveiled a portable version of its Giraffe One X 3D radar at this year's DSEI event. The Giraffe One X radar is a compact and robust 3D AESA radar designed for easy transport and rapid deployment. Suitable for short-range surveillance and ground-based air defense, the system boasts a 75 km range, 360 degrees air target monitoring, and counter-unmanned aircraft capabilities. It can be integrated into various platforms and command and control systems. Notably, it can operate on the move when mounted on naval vessels or land vehicles, while maintaining the same radar performance as the original system. Weighing 400 kilograms and requiring 2 kilowatts of power, the UK has already acquired this radar, though the exact quantity remains undisclosed. During DSEI 2023, Saab also unveiled its plan to enhance production capabilities in the UK with a new radar production site located in Fairham, England. The Norwegian company Kongsberg Maritime unveiled its Mission Bay Handling System at this year's edition of DSEI. The MBHS comprises a frame system, overhead crane, and standalone cargo handling solution designed for efficient launch and recovery of various craft, including manned and unmanned ones, while accommodating diverse hull structures and propulsion configurations on both sides of the ship. The system's adaptability and flexibility make it a suitable choice for naval forces worldwide. It can seamlessly integrate new assets without extensive upgrades, ensuring long-term usability. In addition to the MBHS, Kongsberg also shared developments about the Naval Strike Missile Program during DSEI 2023, highlighting increased production and recent contracts with the Royal Navy, Poland, and Norway, underlining the missile's growing significance in naval defense strategies. The Naval Strike Missile, a versatile precision strike weapon, is capable of seeking and eliminating enemy ships at distances exceeding 100 nautical miles and can be launched from diverse platforms against sea and land targets. During DSEI 2023, Patria, a Finnish defense company, provided further details about its famous project, the European Future Highly Mobile Augmented Armored Systems. The EU has granted approval for the project's second phase, allocating approximately 95 million euros in funding from the European Defence Fund. The famous project is a collaborative effort between Patria and a consortium of nine European countries, with the goal of advancing the technology and performance of future armoured vehicles. This aligns with the EU's objective to bolster ground combat capabilities, addressing the evolving security challenges in Europe as a result of the ongoing war in Ukraine. As the war in Ukraine highlights the pressing need for new advanced technologies, Estonian-based company Milram Robotics is dedicated to learning from its customers to enhance their systems. Milram Robotics, a robotic vehicle manufacturer, is best known for their battle-tested Themis unmanned ground vehicle. Mr. Patrick Shepard, the chief sales officer of Milram Robotics, told Defense Central at DSEI 2023 that Ukraine stands as one of their key customers at the moment. He emphasized the active engagement of the Ukrainian armed forces in using Milram Robotics operational systems on the front line. This partnership involves continuous feedback aimed at improving existing systems and shaping the vision for the next generation platforms in the future. Watch the full statement from Mr. Shepard in the video linked in the description below. 
While the Ukrainian conflict underscores the significance of electronic warfare in modern conflicts, OneWeb, a global communications enterprise headquartered in London, is developing a system designed to withstand jamming attempts effectively, and they announced several developments during this year's edition of DSEI. Boasting a constellation of 648 low-Earth orbit satellites, the majority of OneWeb's ground infrastructure is already operational, with the rest slated for completion early next year. The integration of artificial intelligence and precise satellite control, surpassing human capabilities, has made this initiative feasible. OneWeb believes that its fleet of 638 satellites is sufficient for global coverage, with the additional 50 satellites serving as backup, bolstering resilience, and inspiring customer confidence. During DSEI 2023, OneWeb announced that Britain's Royal Fleet Auxiliary ship, Argus, had connected to its satellite constellation, marking the first time a military vessel deployed its SATCOM services. OneWeb also revealed the release of a portable, lightweight terminal that will bring broadband connectivity to users in remote areas. This system, which can fold into a large backpack, is ideal for military operators and rescue crews working in hard-to-reach areas with difficult terrain. So, what do you think? Let us know in the comments below. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel, as we have a lot more to share from DSEI 2023.